Allah says, I created you to test you. What did he say? Testing about what? He says, to test you who from amongst you has better deeds. To test you who from amongst you has better deeds. That's all. Allah says, I created death and life in order to test you who has better deeds. Which means, I need to work as best as I can to please Allah. In the meantime, there will be, you know, when there is a test, what happens? What happens in a test? You go into your exam room and you are tested mathematics. So do they just test you what you want? Everything will be nice, smooth, sweet, calm. No, you will work hard. You will go into the exam room at the right time, with the right uniform, at the, in the right place, sitting in the correct position, making sure that you don't copy, you don't cheat. You are looking at your paper. You are praying that it's going to be easy. You are praying that it's going to be easy. And you start answering. The first question, one plus one, mashallah. You know the answer, two. Very easy, right? It is so easy that if you were asked that question for O or A levels, you might think there is a catch here. You might think there is a catch. Imagine you come for your examination O level. First question, one plus one. You just look at each other. Like when MC almost gave away my date of birth. First time in my life I've seen someone, mashallah, may Allah forgive us all, who introduces a speaker with his date of birth, I almost choked. Mashallah. <laughs> mashallah, mashallah, tabarakallah. Just as well he didn't give the year. <laughs> but I can let you in on a secret. I can let you in on a beautiful secret. I have, and my colleagues do know this, I have two of my daughters are actually married. So you can guess how old I am, inshallah, just as well. And that's not a lie. That's, a, that's the truth. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all. If you were to enter an exam and you hear something that is quite simple, you will be a little bit confused to say, how come this is so easy? Allah says, in life, we will test you with ease. It's a test. When we give you, it's a test. When we take away from you, it's a test. Everyone, now, now I'm getting to my topic, okay? Everyone and everything that we have put around you is part of your test. You have snakes as your test. You have giraffes as your test. You have kittens and cats that you may choose to be your pets as snakes. You may have birds as pets as snakes. Those which are, sorry, as, as, as a test. You may have that which is harmful as a test. That which is beneficial as a test. All these are tests from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Your brothers were chosen by Allah as a test for you. Your sisters chosen by Allah. You did not choose who's going to be your brother or sister. So much so you did not choose your father or your mother. That's your test. Why? Because Allah created you different from everything and everyone. You are unique. You are you. You are so different that your thumbprint, your iris print will be completely different even from your own mother and father. What are you going to do about it? So now let me take you to the exam room again. When you are asked a question, you will be asked addition. This is a mathematics exam. After addition, do they say, fine, you passed? No, they will test you with subtraction. Okay, what is one minus one? Why subtraction? Because now we need to know whether you have mastered that subject, right? So Allah tests you by giving you. After a little while, what does he do? He takes away from you. He tests you again. How did he test me? He took it away. What did he take away? Something I loved, gone. Allahu Akbar. What do we say when we lose a loved one? May Allah give them Jannatul Firdaus. We say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. Have you ever pondered to think what it means? I don't know if you have the same crisis we have in other parts of the world. You hear someone, they say, Oh, brother Musa passed away. And everyone says, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. But they didn't think what they're saying. It's just a statement that came out of the mouth. You haven't thought, what is the meaning of what I just said? It means we all actually do belong to Allah and we're all going to go back to him. Not just the one who passed away, but all of us are going to go there. It's a reminder to all of us to say, I'm also going there. That's what we actually say when someone passes away. Don't we use that as a dua, right? Next time, think about what you're saying. Don't just pay lip service to it. And this is the difficulty when we convert our religion and faith into a ceremony. Your salah, your prayer is not a ceremony, nor is it a performance. It is actually a fulfillment. That's what it is. And for that reason, I prefer to use the word fulfill your salah. 
Although it may not be wrong to say we are performing salah, but for me, salah is not a mere performance. I would rather say I'm fulfilling my prayer. The point I'm raising is Allah tests you by taking away. Then Allah tests you by multiplying. Then Allah tests you in all the different ways, just like an examination.